Um, yeah, it feels good. Obviously, um, spending a, a lot of time here. Uh, it's, a, it's a real pleasure to coach the club and to, to reach 100 games. So, you know, I'm very proud of that milestone. Um, but obviously, the most important thing is a win for me. Um, and obviously, boys playing really well, and it's what a what a great game for it against uh, Melbourne City Grand Final rematch. Um, and a short turnaround for, for both teams, so uh, looking forward to the game. Talk to us about game one to, to game 100. What changes have you seen in yourself and, and the club? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, you, you're learning along the way. As When you first take over, you know, um, you can still learn. I think I'm still learning now, so it's all about timing, um, you know, getting the players... Uh, ready for games um, and I think the main thing is that you know they're, they're prepared we try to do that every game um, and they know what's ahead of them obviously for us it's all about getting the timings right whether it's making changes uh, making the right decisions with players um, and that, that's a learning experience uh, for everyone. Obviously a huge match this weekend mm. is it about revenge is it about the win what do you guys talk about during the week? It's about three points for us. Um, obviously, we need the three points. We had, uh, you know, against Western, we, we lost that game, so a little bit disappointing. First half, fantastic performance. Second half, not so good. So we need to put on a, a good performance for 97 minutes these days, the way the game's going. And um, obviously, the most important thing is, is three points. Obviously, though, you, you have to discuss it during the week. Obviously, what a momentous match it is going back to, obviously, last year. What discussions do you have with that? Does it give the boys a little bit of extra pep in the step, especially off a short turnaround? Yeah, I think it, it definitely does. I think the last two years we've we've played in the grand final. We beat them the first year, and then they beat us last year. Um, so that hurts. It still hurts. Um, you know, they're a very good team. They have uh, very good players in their team. Very good attacking side as well. Um, so. You know, there's a lot to be wary of, obviously, with them, uh, but we have a lot of quality in our side and it's about, you know, putting on a good performance for us mainly. Obviously, analysing their strengths and, and nullifying that and, um, you know, that's the plan. You, you mentioned the hurt. Can you use that to your advantage? Does it fuel the fire even more so to get the three points? Yeah, of course. I think uh, that still burns in, in my stomach and it should the players, a lot of these players have been here uh, for that game. So, yeah, it definitely hurts. Um, and if you want to talk about revenge, of course, but uh, you know, it's, it's about picking up three points is the main thing. Um, that's great. Uh, George? Hey there, Steve. Yeah, George. I'll start for yourself. I wondered, you know, we spoke uh, maybe this midway through February, uh, sorry, midway through January, and you had a massive backlog of games. I think out of that six week period, you've got three wins, three draws, three losses in the league. Like, how, 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 how do you feel that period's gone for you? Because it must have been one of the most challenging ones for you as a coach. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, it is it's difficult, you know, playing every two, uh, every three or four days, but uh, I think everyone's got to do it. So and I think uh, you can see with the league itself, I think a lot of people have dropped points in that period when they've got a lot of games. So if you can maintain a good consistency and pick up as many points as possible, obviously the wins are important at this stage. Um, you can fly up the league by just getting two or three wins in a row. So obviously that's the plan. It's, it's, it's never easy. Obviously we come out against the best, best two teams at the moment, Western and obviously City this weekend. So, but um, yeah, you know, it's a difficult time, but um, it's a very important time as well. Well, we obviously have to build him up the way we are. Uh, he's getting him obviously closer to starting a game. Uh, if it's not this week, it might be the, the following week. So, yeah, he's getting closer. Um, obviously, we've got Luciano as well. We're, we're going to have to do very similar to. Um, slowly build him up. And, um, yeah, but with Costa, yeah, he's, he's close now. Is there anyone else who might be back on deck this, for, for tomorrow's game? Uh, Yazbek, I think, will be back probably the following week. He's close to this week, but I'm not sure whether he will be right for the short turnaround. But uh, yeah, for the Wanderers game after that, I think we'll have him back. I would say Luciano should be ready for that game as well. And, you know, we talk about Costa, maybe you're getting a start in that game. Beautiful. Thanks, mate. I'll pass on to Don. 
Thanks, George. Just on Luciano, um, is, is he likely to get some minutes tomorrow? Does he need a little bit more time adjusting and getting back into the rhythm? Yeah, I, I think tomorrow's a little bit short for him. He's obviously only been here, uh, I think, about a week. And, you know, he needs a little bit more training before we, we want to throw him in. Obviously, we, we don't want him to get injured. We've got a, a lot of games coming up and we need to build him up slowly. And I think probably tomorrow's a little bit uh, early for him. I'd say with a good week under his belt next week, uh, the Wanderers game is definitely a certain uh, that, you know, if everything goes according to plan next week, training-wise for him, um, we, we hopefully will see him. We saw uh, Cass struggle with a bit of an injury uh, on Wednesday. How is he? Is he going to be available? Uh, he got a cork, I think it was a knee on knee, on knee so uh, he's pulled up well. Uh, at this stage, yeah, he's available. Obviously, we haven't had a training session since then. So it's about uh, yesterday was travelling back, recovery, and today is going to be a light session. But at this stage, he's in the full session. So um, I would say, yes, he's, he's available for tomorrow. Maybe just as you approach this milestone match in your career with Sydney FC, uh, you look back at the start of the season, there's a lot of... Uh, Japanese clubs and some French that were, were interested in, in signing you. You obviously had, had won a lot of trophies here at Sydney FC. That temptation to go abroad, is, is that something that's on its own that you think about and is on your radar? Well, I think that's further down the track for me. I'm, I'm quite happy here at Sydney, obviously. Um, yeah, and, and I just only really want to focus on that at the moment. Um, what comes after this, my, my time at Sydney, we'll, we'll wait and see. But at this stage, fully focused on, on the job here. Uh, and I've got no time to think about that, Dom, at the moment. There's every two or three, three days we've got a game. So it's uh, definitely short turnarounds, uh, a lot of work getting put into, obviously, video and stuff like that for the players that they can prepare for the games and, and make sure we get them at the, at the best possible peak for, for each and every game. And if that's changing a few players each game, well, that's probably what we'll have to do. How, how are you coping with, with that from a depth perspective and, and from a, you know, a, a player motivation, player welfare, it's not motivation, so far, rotation. It's so difficult playing a game every three days and, and now you're dealing with travel in between as well, which you, you guys were beforehand. Yeah, extremely difficult, uh, especially when we had early on in the season when uh, I think we played five games in probably 15 days uh, and we probably had a few injuries at that time as well. Now, once the players are starting to come back, we have the opportunity to, to rotate and, you know, freshen up the squad a little bit. Uh, that's providing everyone's fit. Obviously, Costa's coming back, probably not fully fit yet. Luciano as well. We're looking forward to seeing him play. But, uh, yeah, the, the more players fit, uh, the better the depth in the squad, the more chance you've got of, of changing a few players each game. And I think to freshen up, you have to do that. Just last one from me. Um, you've had no problem with creating chances in the last few games, converting them to being a point of frustration for the so I'm sure. You, you don't have too much time in between to work on it, but are there any tweaks that you've identified that you can make to convert those chances into goal? Listen, uh, no, we haven't had time at all to, to work on it, but you know, the, boy, the boys are creating the chance. For me, that's a, a positive. You know, the last two games, there's been probably 40-odd shots we've had in the, in the last two games. Um, and, you know, we have the quality. We have players who can score goals. It's just about, you know, just being a little bit more composed in, in front of goals. And, you know, they'll start to come. Uh, we have too much quality for that not to, not to happen. Uh, it is frustrating, of, of course, but um, you know they're trying their best as well, the boys, to, to score the goals, and um, you know I'm sure they're going to start to come. And when they do come, you know obviously that's when we start winning games. Can I just ask one question? Yeah, that's all right. Just you mentioned the short turnaround. We've also had unprecedented weather this week. Does that factor into how you prepare the boys and, and your game plan coming in? Because these grounds are essentially underwater at the mm. moment, and you're coming off a, only a few days rest. Yeah, obviously we had the game on Wednesday. We travelled back yesterday, so they did recovery in Melbourne before we left. Uh, and today, obviously, the pitch is quite heavy, so we have to take that into consideration as well. It's more about just doing a little bit of tactical work today. Um, they need to stretch their legs out a little bit to, to prepare, prepare for tomorrow's game. But, yeah, obviously we take that into consideration as well. And I think, you know, tomorrow doesn't look any better. It looks like uh, rain for the game, so, um, which is not so bad.